Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Nina Ribena's Art Journal Prompts and more. It's December week two and so time for me to work in my usual scraps journal for the last time this year. Um, this has just been such a fun journal um, to work in and I know that um, lots of you have requested that I do something similar next year. I'm still sort of, you know, having a think about what I um, want to do project wise for next year but let's just have a flip through this. Um, so this is the last page so obviously I'm going to um, work on this one here let me just take it um, out of the journal let's just pop that to one side just for, for a moment so this is what I've got um, and of course I want to work on this page here um, that's what it looks like um, on the back um, so I'm going to start off with this um, page first now to protect the page on the left hand side I'm just going to pop um, some low tuck um, masking tape down here just so that um, I don't get any of the paint that I'm going to apply next um, on the opposite page I don't want to spoil that no I'm really sorry because I, I forgot to put the camera back on for this last step I've just used three different colors of acrylic paint which I've just put a few blobs of each of the colors all over the background and I've just swirled it around um, using a baby wipe and then just rubbed it off until um, I was happy with the coverage I still wanted to see um, some of the colours of the background underneath um, but I just wanted to tone it down a bit so that's what we've got now so what do I want to do now I've just put some white paint um, out onto my craft mat here and I'm using one of these natural sponges and I just want to create some snow hills at the bottom of my page um, like like this Yep, I'm liking the way that, um, that that's looking. And I think I'll dry that layer um, and then add um, another perhaps. So I've given that a quick dry. I'm just going to go over with, a, with another layer. And I like the fact that you can still see um, all of the blue um, underneath as well. That's... Um, that's really nice and of course the sponge is um, is giving me some nice texture too. Now I want to try and mimic the bokeh design that I've got on the other side of the page here. Um, so I've got this homemade stencil, this was just made out of a scratch um, piece of cardstock, craft cardstock and I've used my um, punches just to punch out various different size circles. I'm going to use this Adirondack um, ink pad, this is one that I picked up from the scrap store. I'm hoping that this will be nice and light, I don't want anything too strong over here. So I'm just going to... Um, um, yeah you see that's absolutely perfect and just randomly um, just stamp just pop some circles all over the background like this and as I say this will just tie these two pages together I just absolutely love how that looks and um, we'll have one slightly off the page like this so that it looks more more random and so I'm just going to keep going like this, um, overlapping as well. I just think it looks really nice when you overlap um, things like this. Um, so we'll overlap it here. I don't want too many of the really large ones. But you can see here it looks really nice when they when they overlap. And this it will just create a really nice snowy effect for me, I hope. I just love that. I think that looks gorgeous. I just love the bokeh effect so much. Now I've put some more of the white paint out onto my craft mat because what I want to do now, um, I'm not sure whether you'll be able to see what I'm doing. I've got um, a sponge here that I just got um, in a pack from Hobbycraft, I think it was. And I'm just going to press this into the into the paint. I want quite a, quite a heavy layer and see if you can guess what I'm going to do now. <laughs> I'm going to make myself a snowman so I'm just going to press press that down like like that there we are um, oh I've managed to get white paint all all over there let me just get rid of get rid of that quick oh never mind because we can add some splatters maybe later um, which will cover cover that up anyway oh there we go gone 
So any mistakes you see, you can usually get rid of get rid of them. Right, stop messing, Nina. And then I've got um, a slightly smaller sponge here, and I'm going to do the same again. Um, I won't bring that um, mat over because there's obviously um, paint on it. And where do I want that to go? About about there. So that's his um, his head. So we'll press press that down. Um, there we go. Um, do another layer. That's not quite solid. Um, enough. And then I'm just going to give that a quick blast with my heat tool. I've given that a quick blast with the heat tool but whilst I'm waiting for it to fully set before I can add any facial features I've got just a piece of um, scrap um, just left over from my master board and I think I'm going to make him a scarf. So I'm just going to cut a couple of pieces um, like this. Where have I just cut that from? Um, we'll do the same same here so we'll have two pieces of um, of that like that and I just want to let's just taper that maybe a bit and we can maybe glue that down something something like like that I've done it the wrong way haven't I we go that's better yeah there we are so uh, so that can be his um, his scarf um, and then do I want to make him um, a hat I think I probably do let me just go and see what else I've got to make a hat I've got um, a piece of um, scrap black cardstock um, this has come out of um, a folder so it's got some nice texture on it um, so I thought this would be quite nice just to make a hat so I'm just going to cut a strip there like like that and let's just grab my longer um, scissors so that's probably a bit too too thick um, let's cut that down just a tad so that's the brim of his hat um, there and then I can cut this down I'm just trying to get the shape of it so that will be his hat something like like that and then maybe I could decorate um, that with another piece of of this that would be fun wouldn't it so how big does that need to be so about about there again I can trim this this down again afterwards and that will match so we can have his hat, something, something like that. So I've got my Fabri-Tac. In fact, this is the um, three-in-one that I'm using now because um, my other one ran out um, and I can't see any difference between this and the Fabri-Tac. Um, and the three-in-one is slightly cheaper. So I'm just going to glue that down, um, wipe away any excess that's spilled over the, over the side. There we go. And then, there we go. I just need to glue the brim of the hat on like that. It needs to be trimmed ever so slightly. And then I shall glue that down too. There we are. Now I've got a pack of foam snowflakes that were free in a magazine um, years ago and so I just thought it might be quite nice to have some of these scattered across the page. I can maybe have one um, on his scarf perhaps. Um, I haven't got enough of the white ones um, so I'm just going to mix, mix these up. I want to spread them out quite evenly. So I'm just going to have a play um, around with this and I shall glue these down um, just using some Fabri-Tac, something like, um, like that. Now I just want to add a few white splatters so I've just popped a piece of paper just to cover that page um, there up and we'll just add a few splatters like this to give it more of a snowy feel and I don't know but you know I say this every time splatters just seem to unify um, everything how cool is that some over his hat like like that yeah liking liking that 
and so I'm just going to give this a quick blast and then of course I need to give him some um, eyes and perhaps add a bit of um, shading here and there too. So whilst that's just um, finishing off drying, I don't want to dry it too much because I don't want to melt um, the foam um, snowflakes. I've got a piece of um, orange cardstock here. Now which colour orange do I like? I think... Um, Hmm, I like this bright orange um, in the middle actually so I'm just going to cut him a carrot nose so a little triangle this was um, when I was practicing the Arteza um, paints have I cut that big enough yep that's perfect and I've also put some black paint out on my craft mat here um, and I'm going to use a stylus just to give him two eyes one there and one there how cute is is that oh what a whimsical fun page that's just really finished um this year off um nicely so there we go so i'm just going to glue his nose down again with just um a tiny bit of fabri tac if i can find where i've put it i'll use the one um in the um, nozzle bottle just because I don't need um, very, very much. His nose is glued on um, and everything is now dry. I've played around with the shape of his body as well and I've just extended it down into the snow um, and just that just looks a little bit better for me. I just want to add um, a little tad of shading. This is just a, a graphite um, pencil here and I'm just going to add some of this and just smudge it with my, with my fingers. Um, like this I want it to look really soft nothing too harsh but just to add a little bit of shadow um, underneath his body like like this I just absolutely love how that page has um, turned out really whimsical and fun so let's have a look and see what we can do with um, with this page here um, now I don't know whether you can remember a couple of years ago maybe three years ago I made my own handmade um, wrapping paper um, it was inspired by D of Betsy Doodle and this is a piece um, I've got left um, this was made using um, newspaper and white gesso and then paint on top you can probably see um, the newspaper print um, underneath I just love this um, but I think I'm going to glue some of this down onto my background um, like like that um, I'm going to use um, just a regular glue stick just to glue a piece of this on so this is what we've got um, that's now glued on um, as I say with just um, regular glue stick um, but I've got this panel here and I thought I'd use another piece of um, wallpaper um, wrapping paper that I made in exactly the same way this again um, was just um, a piece of newspaper gesso paint and lots of different stamps bubble wrap you know that kind of thing and so I'm just going to glue this contrasting piece on here like like that so that's all glued down and this is what I've got I apologize for the noise in the background I've had to put my heater on it is just so cold in my craft room um, before I do anything else I think I am just going to ink around the edges with some stays on purple um, stays on ink in royal purple so I'll just go around it um, like like this just to frame the page this just draws the eye into the center I always say that I know um, let me just show you the other side as well because um, I decided to add um, three little buttons and I used my um, crocodile for that um, and let me just show you just the tiny winny scraps that I had from the scarf this is my um, painty paper my um, mixed media master board so that's how I've made those um, and then I've um, stamped um, let it snow let it snow let it snow with the um, stamp set that I got from the scrap store um, it was this one here and I've just used black embossing powder so that's now finished um, and I'm just going to go all the way around both sides we'll use purple for this side as well because you know we've got purples and blues in here so I think that will go quite well um, and as soon as I've done that I'll be back um, and and it will give me time to think about what I want to do next. 
what a difference a bit of inking makes. Um, it's just framed everything. It just looks so beautiful. And just look at these iridescent paints. I'd obviously used my um, Pebio iridescent paints to splatter all over the background. It's just gorgeous. I just love that so much. Um, I've inked this side here as well. So that's just um, framed that nicely too. Um, so what I want to do next, I have um, mounted um, another piece of this wrapping paper here onto a piece of black card um, and I'm going to use um, a couple of round circle punches. I've got this one here which is my two and a half inch punch um, so we'll have that here. I just wanted the card just to stabilize it um, a bit so we'll punch that one out there. Um, look how gorgeous that is. Can you see the shimmer? Um, and then I've got a smaller one here. I think this is um, a two inch punch. Um, so we'll have one of these. Let's just see where the best place is to punch punch that. Maybe maybe there, that will be fine. Um, and I'm going to have these as baubles um, on my page. I just want to keep it really simple. So we'll have that one um, there, something like, like that. I do want to um, ink around the edges of the baubles before I do anything more with them as well. So I've just made a bauble topper um, for the large bauble. How cute is that? Um, let me just show you how I made it. I've got one of these punched out circles. It was um, just from a circle punch, but obviously this one has got um, a scalloped edge. And I've just folded it in half like this. Um, let's just, just do that. Um, and then I've just um, cut it at the sides um, just to trim it trim let's have a look make sure I get this da, 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 da. I think it's about there like that um, and then I've just rounded the edges as well like like so like this um, and then I've just taken a silver pen um, again it's the Uchida one um, the deco color but I've got it um, in silver this time now I've gone around the edge like this on the inside just so so that you don't see any um, of the brown cardstock edges because this is just craft paper craft cardstock that I've punched it out of and then I've just colored um, the outside in silver. I love these pens. They're just so shiny and gorgeous. Um, better than any other metallic pens I've, I've had, I have to say. So I'm just going to glue these down with a tiny bit of Fabri-Tac 3-in-1 I'm using um, at the moment, as you know. Um, and as I said earlier, I can't see any difference between this and the Fabri-Tac. Um, so we'll just um, pop that on like like so which makes it more like um, a bauble how cute is that um, so I might need to use just a, a clip a bulldog clip just to hold that together for a second or two um, until the um, glue dries I'll do the same with this one here as well this one's slightly um, smaller so we've got the bauble tops on and I just want to punch a hole. I'm going to use my crocodile. Um, using the small hole, I'm just going to punch a hole there like that um, and another one in the top here. There we go. And I've got some um, ribbon here which I'm just going to thread through. What I think I'll do is loop it, loop it through like this. Um, and then I just want to suspend these from the top of the page. So there we go, I've threaded them um, through and I'm going to glue these down um, just like that. Um, I like the position, um, I've got these, I'm just going to add a tiny bit of Fabri-Tac at the top and then when that's dry, um, can you see what I'm, I'm doing? Am I in um, camera shot here? So I'm just going to stick that down at the top like that and when that's dry I can just um, trim the edge so we'll do the same here just a, a bit of glue there we go and just stick stick that down there we go 
Now as much as I like these being able to um, be suspended like this, I think it's going to drive me mad. So I'm going to put a tiny um, dot of Fabri-Tac on the, the back of each of these and glue those in place um, as well. So there we go, one there and, and one there. And I think I might glue the top um, of this shut um, as well, just so that we've got a pocket. There we are. So we'll glue that shut um, as well. So I've trimmed the edges um, of the ribbon um, just like that and I'm really happy with the way that that looks but I just feel that it just needs a touch of something else. Now I've got some of these um, lovely sequins, I think I picked these up um, from Tiger um, and there's some silver ones in here and I think I'm just going to add a few of these um, over the background like this just to jazz it up just a tad, I don't think it really needs um, very very much else I don't want to you know over overdo this because of course the background is so busy um, anyway so I'm just going to dot a few of these um, around and then I'm just going to glue these on with some of this um, Anita's clear uh, gloss um, glue and um, this is very similar to um, oh gosh what's it called um, glossy accents it's just that I've hardly got um, any of the glossy accents left so I'm just going to dab a uh, just a tiny bit of this on um, and hopefully um, that will hold these down. I did find when I did my project with the glass bottles at the weekend I used Fabri-Tac on the glass um, and it didn't hold very well so I learnt my lesson um, there so this is what I'm going to um, use today. I'm sorry I'm losing my voice, um, the boys have both been really ill um, and I feel that, oh, please don't let me come down with it as well. So keep your fingers crossed. So try not to um, overthink it, Nina. So I'm really happy with that. I don't know whether you can see um, the sparkle. It just looks so pretty. Um, and then I've just got one more finishing um, touch I want to add. I've got some of these um, Christmas sentiments that were from the works. Um, here in the UK and I think I'm just going to add one there like that. Merry, Merry Christmas. Let me just stand up so that I can um, see, see what I'm doing. Let's have a look. Maybe there like like that. Um, and then I'm just going to set that page um, aside for the glue to dry. So whilst these sequins are drying I just want to work on the centrepiece of this page here so let's just pop the journal to one side. Um, now I don't know whether anybody else can see it but I can see a bird here um, so let's have a look and see what we can um, we can do with this. Um, let's see if we can just I want to see if I can just capture that bird there. You know my drawing skills are absolutely um, terrible, but I think we can maybe do something with that. The tail, I think, um, is far too long. I can also see it um, on the other side as well. Okay, so here, here we go. <laughs> That's as good as it gets with me. Um, do you know, my drawing skills are coming on. I mean, you know, at least I've plucked up the courage to actually um, give it a, a try. Um, I'm going to, whoops, a daisy. I'm just going to um, draw some scribbly lines around this using, which, which one's this? This is the um, Uniball Signo um, pen. So we'll just go around um, like this just to define it because it's a, a bit lost on this dark um, background. Um, but I definitely saw a bird. Let me know what you think. Um, so we'll just do this really loose and, um, and scribbly. I'm quite happy with that. There we go. Um, and we can have the wing. Let's just try and do the wing something like um, like that. There we go, at least we can see um, that that's a, a bird. There we go and I'll let that one dry and then I'll do exactly um, the same thing on the other side. 
so here we go this is what um, I'm going to do I've got some of these thinlets that um, I'd already had um, die punched out from a previous project I can't remember what um, I was doing um, but I am just going to glue um, some of these um, stems and things on here just something like that I've got this lovely silhouette flower here so I've got one in white um, on that side of the page and then this one I've done in black um, so I think I'll do the reverse I've got some more um, of these which are, are punched out um, in the white so I think I'll have um, something like that um, here maybe we could have um, this flower um, on that side there so I'm just going to play um, around with this and I shall glue these down with Fabri-Tac because it won't warp the paper well this has turned out far better than I thought it would I just love that I think that's just such a pretty little page um, I do want to ink around the edges just to define it um, a bit so we'll just use some um, archival ink for that um, which will just um, frame it so I'll go all the way around um, but how cute that's just really sweet I like that so I've inked around the edges and um, that's what it looks like. <coughs> oh, do excuse me. Um, I think I'm going to have it this way round with this in the centre so that that's on the outside. Um, but I found a little butterfly here from my stash. Um, I'm just going to glue that down just on the inside there. So I'm going to add a tad of glue just to the centre just so that we've got some dimension We'll have that there like that so I'm just going to hold hold that down I just need to draw on um, some antenna um, so we'll have that there like that and I'm going to call that done so the glue on the sequins is, is now dry and the pages are popped back into my journal. So let me just show um, what um, what I've been doing this week. So of course we've got this page here um, that was made out of um, homemade wrapping paper that I've made from a base from a broadsheet um, newspaper. Um, this, as I said, was inspired by Dee Betsy Doodle. Um, and Dee has sent me a Christmas postcard and an artist trading card that once the festive season is over, I will be slotting um, in here um, um, like that just because I just think it's really fitting seeing as the um, wrapping paper was inspired by D anyway and of course you know these are these are her colours aren't they so that's that one there um, then of course I've got my snowman page I just love how this one turned out unfortunately the poppies from the other page have bled um, onto the snowflakes but you know this is a junk journal at the, at the end of the day so it really really doesn't matter so that's that page there with all its um, sparkle from the um, wink of Stella glitter pen um, and of course with the embossing let it snow let it snow let it snow I really like that um, and then of course um, I finished off this page um, here in the center of the flower page I'm really pleased with how this one turned out too so these were the birds that appeared um, in the background and you know just die cut um, stems and and flowers homemade butterfly I've got um, a video somewhere showing how I made um, these I've only got a few left and I do need to make some some more so that's how that looks so I'm going to um, close the journal and let's do a flip through uh, th a flip through right from um, the beginning so this is what the journal looks like closed and just look how fat um, it's become from working on it um, throughout the year I've had so much fun with this I just love the color and um, the cover and um, I love the color of the cover too so that's what it looks like all the way um, around so that's what it looks like from the side um, um, and let's just um, have a flip through of the pages so of course these are the end covers and I'm going to leave these as they are I just think they're really pretty and I don't really want to do anything um, with that um, then of course this was the first page I did you know using a couple of them um, of flip outs and, and interactive bits and pieces which I just think is is really fun um, of course these were the flowers that I made um, using painty baby wipes um, my flower pages and this one was done on a paper bag the daffodil page um, with the daffodil cut out of Daphne's diary the flowers here were sent to me um, in in happy mail um, the black and white is a piece of wrapping paper and the blue and white here was from um, a paper bag um, the, the swallows on this tag were from a piece of wallpaper that I picked up from um, one of our hardware stores then of course the 
these are my jelly printed um, pages that um, I made using leaves that um, you know I collected from the garden just love this one here that I sewed um, into a little plastic pocket really like that um, the circles with all the crackle paste everything just looks so fun and eclectic and that's what I really like about this um, the gold on the leaf that was just stamped with a leaf from the garden again another jelly printed page um, an ATC that I created with another one of those butterflies that um, that I used um, for the page today um, and that was done on an alcohol ink background um, Easter Bunny page that's the other side of that paper bag and of course I've got some tags in here that I made with book paper and um, a Beatrix Potter napkins I really like those um, this page here was made with a napkin um, as well um, page made with punch, punched out flowers that I'd had in my stash for, for ages um, this um, page here of course is just made with um, dotty tissue paper and um, some junk mail that um, Bowden junk mail that arrived through the post and that was just done on a bokeh um, tag that I had lying lying around I mean many of you will remember um, the videos showing these I've still got to do something with this page here and I have got um, a couple of ideas I just haven't got time to do it today so I will be back to finish Finish that off so there's that um, and the um, two pieces at the the back of the journal and apart from that the rest of it um, really is finished um, so of course we've got got these pages here I just love how everything um, is color coordinated and, and just matches really nicely well at least I think it does anyway um, of course these flowers here were made with um, circles that I'd punched out of Daphne's um, diary um, they were too big so I trimmed them down and this was just the bit that was left from around the edges if you remember so I just love all of these um, pages. This one looks very Art Deco um, to me. Of course, these two pages here were made um, using crumpled up um, tissue paper, um, which ended up looking like trees and really fitting for this autumnal um, themed um, double page spread. I really like that. Of course, my poppy themed page here. And then of course, we're at the end with the festive themed pages. It's just been so much fun to make. Make, um, this journal. Now I know that many of you have um, asked me if I'll be doing something um, similar again next year because many of you have said that this has been your favourite um, week um, th throughout the year um, where I've been doing this junk journal. I'm putting my thinking cap on. I don't want to do something that's exactly the same um, but I am um, thinking about what I might be able to do as an alternative for 2020. So if you enjoyed today's video as always I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think um, in the comments below and whether you'd like me to do something similar going forward for next year. Um, and take care, everybody. I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.